with anything. That's a really good strat. Ooh. Get rid of him. I think he's done. He's going to put him in the yellow, and that should be it. Level three with damage to spare. Big Bird and other people noticed it. They said, well, you know Zangief's somewhat good or good if he's flown to another country. That must mean something's good about him. This, that Zangief is, the, this is mad. Oh, we're in. We're in there straight away. He is transformed. He's a different character. I don't think he's going to be penetrating top tier, but in terms of relevance and ability to make a tournament run, maybe even win a tournament battle run, yeah. I think that's more possible, way more possible than it was before. Beautiful reap with I go to and get this set started. That was the optimal punish as well. Crouch Fierce does more damage than Stand Fierce. I think 100 or 200 more. So good awareness there from Daigo as well. I'm still not sure about this matchup on the ground. Oh. It gets the cancel anyway. I just playing a really interesting style here. He's weaving and bobbing in and out. It's working so far. I think if he burned himself out, he could have won the round, Edward. Yeah, why didn't he that? I'm surprising. You don't, don't want to risk it. And that's the lovely anti air choice. He's into the target combo. Look at that. Oh, a slight smirk, Jammers. A slight smirk on this Abrassi's face. You know what? Oh, no, and he missed, he missed the command grab. Oh, that must have been an execution error, surely. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to his gauge? I wasn't looking at the screen. What happened to his gauge? Everything happened. Not even 90 seconds yet. Good grief. That might be a record for fastest ever approach to burnout. What, faster than Noah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone faster than Noah, but he's burnt himself oh, he's burnt out. Now, yeah. And that has cost him in the end. Can he survive this round having lost all that meter? Yeah, there's the demon flip into the guillotine. The guillotine actually works wonders against Zangief in certain scenarios. And he's still low in drive gauge here, and that ain't going to come back anytime soon unless he plays it safe. That trade is actually looking good on this occasion. What's he doing? Is it forward medium kick he's trading with? Yeah, I think so. Perfect, right on the oh, frame. He's just got a meter as well. Oh, oh no! What a parry. Did you see that, Jammers? I think saw that earlier. Just by landing that Russian suplex alone. I love this set already. The opponent gets half of that, though, right? It's not something you've got something to like me that. up. But still, absolutely the right choice. Both of them are level three now. It's the machine gun chops again. Look at that. That is crazy. And he's already near. He's in the amber, but he's always near burnout. Set point is supposed to send you. Yeah. Would you believe it? Roundhouse, the first one we've seen okay, of the set. Okay. It's the grab. Daigo's got to be careful. He's going to have to build up some momentum. A lot of people, their criticism of Akuma is the stability and that health. And can he play in a way where it's not too volatile? I love that air fireball, by the way. Keep him locked in place. He's got to get one conversion to level three. He might not even need it, but Itabashi needs a level two. I don't think it's anything here will make Kuma bleed severely. Daigo's like, got to be extra careful with that towards medium doing all the walks. Like legit. Leashed. Ah, here we go. Okay, Mr. Kuma. I actually don't think he does particularly well in some of the shows. At least from what I've seen thus far anyway. Uh, and there it is. Oh. Gets checked for that drive rush from that crouching medium kick. And then there's going to be that sure you can with the back throw as well. Now this works. If he can get, uh, he didn't want to deal with any of that. <laughs> he did not want to deal with it. Good knowledge from Donny G. That's all he gets, the meaty fireball after the back throw. Mm. Protect there as well. If he can uh, find... Oh, oh no! He missed his light kick. He missed the light kick with the conversion there. And now it's Daigo with his back against the wall, but with full resources. Yeah. Back throw as well. No overhead attempts. Good advantage of that, and Donny, Donny G is about to get his gauge back. He's gonna live. Oh no! Oh, that was literally on the frame. Oh my word, he was praying for it. I think he was praying for his gauge to come back and block it there. Unfortunately, very fortuitous for Daigo. Taking that first round there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Burnt three bars on that as well. Wasted them. Oh, it wasn't... That's all right. It's not even nine seconds. You lost your gauge, mate. Yeah, that's plus. No. He's going to stun you in a minute. No, he's going to do the air conversion instead, but he didn't even finish it off. Is he looking for the stun, though? That's what I'm worried about. No, he's just going to threaten it the whole way through. They need to change that, surely. Like, his corner throw loops are nonsense. The Tatsu knockdown in the corner as well. I think, for me, that's the most egregious thing about Akuma, his access to... Just really, really easy mode Oki. And if you're switched off, he'll jump and do the air fireball. Yeah. And it will still be plus in your face. That, again, I, I, I agree with Angry Bird. Arguably the best corner game, corner situation in the game. This could be huge. Heavy damage coming through. So he's going to get the wall splat off of the Adamant Flame. And he's going to keep it to the 40% combo instead. I smacked that. Yeah, he wouldn't have got the kill off the level one there. The scaling a bit too much. It doesn't matter anyway. Beautiful. Obviously, we keep reiterating the point. He's low on vitality here. Yeah. There's big decisions when you're around 60%. You get resources for just existing, you know? Just like not being in block stun, you get drive gauge patch, you can convert into so, so many options. 
Backing up, no anti-air as well. I think he's just still trying to find his footing. Like I said, I'm not sure about Akuma's uh, statistics against the other shows in the game, especially he was on the back foot in certain departments here. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's not a lot of room for error, is there, with Akuma? No. And, uh, he's going to require a lot of finesse and a lot of mastery to get the absolute most out of His fireballs are fantastic in a yeah. matchup like this, but that, I mean, that just means Luke's more tempted to jump. This is the force knockdown conversion. I mean, at least Luke has got, like, really fast projectiles, right? So oh, of course. That's something, but... It's just an example of how many options Akuma does have. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I think he tried to catch him doing something else where he get the DI, but that's a huge We're risk. We're going to burn each other out. Mutual destruction. I love it. Moncha with the sandblast. Yeah, ready that time. There was no mix-up at that range. Ooh! Oh, okay. And the Super Art 1 did beat Fire today. We've got two of them on the stage right now as we get into this match. So, Liquid's nephew against the Beast, Daigo Umahara. Yes, Jammers. He beat Garnet 2 1. And I yes. imagine that was Delson versus Akuma. And I, I, I don't think that's particularly good for one character, at least. But this one is another matchup I'm not too sure about. Jury is still one of the best at harassing you. Uh, still an efficient game plan. Mm -hmm. Some of the changes he got, their quality of life changes. Well, she wants to get in, right? And she wants to, like, swarm you like a bee. A lot of it, he goes to the throw, gets punished, countered. Um, like, her mobility is fantastic, but is that going to work against her because you're going to be coming into Akuma and that's where he wants to be? Okay, right, Bernard. rushing into minus two, of course. And I noticed because of his style of Ooh. Akuma, more people feel the need to exhaust themselves without paying attention that they're exhausting their resources, which I think that's pretty smart about Daigo's game plan. So right, Stealing frames, got the medium punch, and then immediately went with a crouching medium afterwards, a little gap there, <laughs> caught Nephew. Closed it out. Daigo uses the fireballs really well, also. Yeah. So he does you know who I want to see play Akuma? I want to see Ryan Hart play Akuma. He has, hasn't he? Yeah, he definitely would have done. But I just want to see him put a lot of time into that. Okay. I mean, this is a fun version to... That is know. such a bootleg version of, like, Luke's drive rush to pressure, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it does more Thank God you don't get the drive rush bonus frames on special moves, because that would be ludicrous. Well, we are playing an extremely volatile game. We're going to get the conversion. And a store here is Nephew. Again, just using that walk speed, he yeah. glides across the floor, baby. That's what it is. And every time he pops out the fireball from Jury, like Akuma just responds with the regular one, put you in block stun, we don't have to deal with anything. That's a really good strike. Ooh. Get rid of him. I think he's done. He's going to put him in the yellow, and that should be it. Level three with damage to spare off the DP. There you go. Sipper Calamity He's going to do its trick. And he's going to get that first he's damage. Like... But do you pick the damage or the distance? Mm. And the drive reversal is relatively slow start up anyway. And the punish was still good because Jury's one of the characters that hasn't been affected by the negative six. Yeah. Change, so. Nice cross cut. And he walked under it, actually. Last frames, here it comes. This is a nasty corner game, by the way. Adamant Flame again. He's going to keep it simple with that 40% combo again, Daigo. Let's it rip. I respect it. On drive gauge, though. You might have done Daigo a huge favor. Forward throw. He can close this out on the next hit. And that's why he threw that fireball. Didn't want him to run behind yes. him. And that's rapid, by the way. So that was a good answer. Burn out. Oh, no. Wasn't paying attention to his drive gauge. Daigo might have to chip him. And I think he did. Yeah. Okay. I thought he was going to play it safe with the super chip. But he's got the level three. So we could see an early level three, Logan. Still waiting. Trade. Nice late medium as well. Very confident there. There's a forward medium kick, the Karen poke. Privileged normal burnout as well. I think if he gets a clean hit, I'll take advantage of that. But the guillotine gets beaten by the crouching heavy punch. I was laughing so hard when I saw that Bison had the privileged sweep as well. <laughs> White girl sweep. <laughs> All right, right, listen. Well, he, he recovered that quickly. Bro, that was over in the set. Space of like us saying two sentences. Yeah. Dagger needs a heavy to close this game out. He's fishing for it. Needs to be careful though. Forward throw. He's with punishable. Yeah, he, he can take another one after that. I don't know. Yeah, and he was gonna, wasn't he? Nice use of the OD fireball as well there. Just to, oh, put him out. GG's. He's gonna do the whole thing. It's scaled though. Yeah. Because that was from a perfect parry, right? So I'm not sure if he'll get the whole thing. Yeah, it's not dead. No, not the damage. The gauge. Yeah, the gauge. Because it was oh, scaled. Of course, because yeah. he's less. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I told you, it's an awkward situation now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Remember, that's a huge thing now. So now he's in an uncomfortable oh, situation. So, oh my god, over the... See Zangief against Shotos, rubbing his hands. He's gone with the Akuma pick. I was hey, I remember this. Vanilla Street Fighter 4. <laughs> Look, I don't know what I played oh, that Akuma. Was, was beautiful. I played Akuma a little bit myself, and this just didn't feel good off the jump because of his new changes. And I, I'm just not sure, but I want to see how he plays this out. Because I just think like your options are limited. You air five at the wrong time, Larry's going to beat you. The so that's game. like a mistake, though. You know, True. like can you play this match perfectly and just lock down Geef? Yeah. No options at all. Speaking of which, that possible? Put him in the corner here. Gonna look to burn him out. That was a clean string to burn him out as well. That adamant flame does a substantial amount of drive damage. And you're blocking on the back foot. Yeah. GG's. That's how it's done, by the way. When there is no escape, you just get straight in there and close it out. But with that punish counter throw, building that me necessary meter. Because you're gonna have to find it elsewhere since the tornado won't get it yeah. for you anymore. <laughs> Okay, so he's always going for the Tatsu Sweep knockdown, Oki. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they do that until they get in the corner, and then they change it to uh, Adam and Flame, and then you do the Tatsu afterwards. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the heavy Tatsu afterwards. I still see them do uh, sometimes the sweep for the auto time safe jump, though, as well. Yes. Yeah. That's still pretty good. All right, he's going to go for everything. No. He saves the super, and he goes for the <laughs> over throw. It gets everybody. When, when he... Right, right, they're lifting, not taking the run. That's going to be the shot. Oh, no. Set point. Point indeed. Offers into the drive rush. We're all the way to the corner now. Perfect parry. And so far, the jump yeah. fireball from Leffen have all been really, really good. And the command grab. I cannot react to this grab, Luke. Like, I, I just I just can't. Physically, it's impossible. Really? I'm, I'm too used to Akuma not having grab. Like, it, it always <laughs> jumps. Like, it always jump scares me somehow. You know, it's a... Uh, all right, what do we got, Lishan? Yeah, li li little juggle, little Momochi special. Little... Nah, one. not the real one. Yeah? Not the real it's one. It's the auto-time, Tim. Yeah, it's the simple one. It's football, you know. Doesn't juggle know. a bit. Oh! There we go! Lashar! Verge, set point time, and this has been very positive for him. Yeah. Jaywa really needs to change his pace round. His reads are not coming off. And he's scared of the reversal himself, but it's not coming. There we go. Delayed something and got clipped. Oh, oh. pick up drive reversal. Kaichi was happy to wait right now, but it's Jack taking the lead. It is time. The backdash is going to work. Hey, no sorry. throw loop for you. You are the one going back. Fireball. No. I think I believe this fireball is only like what one frame more recovery than Ryu. Yeah, but it's in total. It's one of those ones where like it's yeah. got a lot of recovery. He wins, or I have no idea. What Wano has this weird unearing ability of like just pulling out a big victory. Yeah. Without being the person that you're really on the radar of, but yeah. it's always quality there. And certainly isn't shy of picking a top tier. As oh, of course. Oh, always, always, always. Pick what works. Kawano Akuma, we're getting uh, blessed with a lot of Akumas today. I saw chat was asking for some. Oh, words. it's only going up, bro. Yeah. Get used to it. It's yeah. only going to be going up more and more and more. Eventually, you're going to be tired of it. Kawano making it work. Might not like. I don't know what. I have no idea what just happened. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? That, that was the, the, the choke Shun select. Pretending he choked, but he actually had what's after. He wanted the contents. Post the clip on Twitter. <laughs> 1-1 oh, one, one between these two. Kick, double dash, okay. Backs off, gets the punish counter on the throw. So big chunk of damage. That's going to be an even bigger chunk of damage. And the kill. Set point now for Kawano.